And then eligible improvements would be repairs that are permanently affixed to the property. I just had an email from a borrower. He's like, hey, can I buy blinds with you know, the money? And they don't because that's not permanently affixed. You could technically take that with you. Um, he asked about furniture, which no, but if he wants to put in like a hot tub that is actually like built into the property that you can't take or a built-in swimming pool, something like that is allowed and it adds value. Um, their 203K does not allow for luxury items. So we just check to make sure that that's not being done on a 203K. So some people say, well, what's the big deal? Like, you know, what program do you use more than the other? I really think it depends, like credit score wise, if we're struggling with credit score, we definitely use the FHA. But for most files, if they're credit worthy with the down payment requirements, we're gonna wanna use the Annie Mae conforming home style because you can see the loan limits are much greater. I'm only showing you Chicago and the you know Cook County area because that is where my home base is. But we do have high balance in Massachusetts, California, you know, Hawaii, New York. There's going to be some places that you know we can go up to a million two on our regular program. So we will follow the guidelines of the county that you are in. And also there's some counties that have much lower loan limits, like FHA only goes to 290. So we will check the loan limits based on the county. So the loan program requirement um, guaranteed rate will provide you the HUD consultant, which I'll bring him in in a few minutes. He comes in on projects that are pretty much over about 42,000. Why it says 50 is that includes the draw on inspections and some other things. So once works over 40,000 on a renovation on a conventional program, we bring him in. The, he comes in and does a write up with the borrower. He meets them immediately. So once you're in contract, we're gonna get you an introduction to get him out there as soon as possible. He will do a write up to tell you the cost of the expected cost of what you're going to do. And then also I'm always actively involved asking if you're changing the floor plan because a lot of people are converting bat, like a closet into a bathroom. They're making like a huge bedroom into two bedrooms and they don't give me any drawings. And that way we're not then providing the appraiser the proper floor plan because that any extra bedrooms and bathrooms will equal additional value. So those are some things we're going to ask for up front. And then once we close, work is typically started within 30 days and we don't allow lapses for more than 30 days. And the work is typically completed in six months. Now, of course, there's extensions that are granted. And right now they've already said they're extending everything right now to 12 months automatically due to COVID-19. So they're not unreasonable with things that can happen, especially like in the Boston area, I do a lot of work. There's a lot of weather issues. So if it's delayed because of weather, you automatically get extensions. Uh, they just fill out a form. So self-help is allowed if the borrower is a licensed GC, and that's on our um, both programs. For home style, a family member can be the GC, but on a 203K, a family member can't be a GC. So again, we'll explain that to the borrowers when you bring them in to me. The HUD consultant for 203K is almost required on all. I, I rarely don't use one on a 203K. Um, if there's any structural or landscaping, regardless, regardless of the cost of the project, we're going to need a consultant. And why I say that is obviously with Google, people start researching and they're reading blogs and a lot of things are wrong and banks tell them wrong information. Hey, you can only do a renovation loan up to 35,000. That's absolutely not true. Most of my 203K loans average from 50 to 300,000 in work. Some lenders only know how to do the one program and that's only up to 35,000. So they'll tell their borrowers the wrong information to try to keep them at their bank. It's not true. You can do anything you need on any property uh, up to any amount as long as you're within the guideline. So the largest 203K money-wise that I did was in New York and it was a $480,000 repair job. So you can see that's well over the $35,000 mark. Um, any 203K that's over 35,000, it's an automatic consultant required. Self-help is allowed if the borrower is a GC by trade or in the trades with a two-year history, but 203K does not allow a family member to be the GC. One big issue that's come up on 203K is that the tenant cannot buy from a landlord using FHA 203K. There's an identity of interest clause and FHA does not allow it because they feel that there's too much like straw buying or closeness to the D they don't feel that it's an action. A family member cannot buy or sell to a family member. 
So you can see that can be a problem because we get those here and there on the FHA where a family member wants to sell. I can only do it on my conventional program. So again, those are just some guidelines just so you know them. Um, I'm gonna talk a lot about Gerald Stewart's role and right after I'll show you a write up he does and then he's gonna, I'm gonna ask him a few questions that we get asked and then he's gonna take over and talk a little bit about what he does. So the role of a consultant, he's HUD certified and he meets the buyer at the property usually within 48 hours going into contract and he remains in the process from the beginning to the end. He completes the write-up, which is called the cost estimate. It's known as the SOR. It's called specification of repair. We call it SOR. For all projects over 35,000 for 203K and any project that's structural, it's automatically required. He comes out to the site he gets paid by the borrower at the time of the appointment. Um, he takes check or Venmo, whatever. He's got a lot of different methods that they can pay. And the cost is typically, or we'll show you the cost schedule. It's all very, it's not just made up. There's a schedule that, that we follow. And I'll, I'll pull that screen up in a moment. So the specification of repair for 203K points out all mandatory repairs that are health and safety that must be done to meet local building code and HUD guidelines. We also then discuss with the borrower their desired repairs that they wanna to do to update the home. It takes them about five days to deliver the write-up to the borrower. And at that point, that is when we're deciding if we're moving forward or if the project doesn't meet the scope, you know, or the pricing we thought, or if we should renegotiate the contract with the seller by providing them all of the information. And why I say that, we do a lot of estate sales where the children are not even in the area and say their parents passed away. They're selling as an estate and they have no idea the condition of the home. Once they see these reports, they typically come back to us and work out a price point because they didn't know the condition of the property. A general contractor, you can bring in any general contractor you like. They must be approved by us. There's just a sign up package. There is no such thing as an approved 203K general contractor list. It doesn't exist. Every lender has their own sign-up package and any contractor can qualify as long as they're licensed and have the proper insurance and you know resume. So there, there's some things they have to give us, but once they do, they're fine to be able to be the contractor. So once the loan closes, Gerald or the consultant will remain uh, in place and you get a welcome letter with your assigned draw specialist. Gerald will make sure that your GC is getting the permits and help with the first draw to get some material funds and then Gerald, the consultant, will stay involved to do the draws. As work is performed, he comes out, takes photos, meets with the contractor, makes sure what payment they're looking for, and he has to prove that the work is done to get those payments uh, released. Here is the fee schedule that's followed. So this is not just made up. I put this on every email to the client. Your fee is based off the amount of the repair cost. So if you're doing an addition for 150,000, FHA caps it at 100,000, However, home style is 1% up to $1,500. So if it ever, you know, if we have a huge job, like last week, I think Gerald did a write up for 250, that was capped at $1,500. I clearly tell your borrowers, or if you are the borrower, you will clearly get this information, very detailed, I'm very diligent, I'm available all the time to answer questions, but we'll make sure they know every penny. You are refunded this through the loan, only if the loan closes. If the loan does not close, this is paid out just like you pay a home inspector, and it's not refundable if you don't close, nor is it refundable if you don't buy a home with using a regular home inspector. So there's no difference in that. Um, in terms of the contractor, you can select the contractor. Again, they'll be given some money up front. We'll send out a paperwork package for them to sign and return to us, and these are the forms we need. I don't wanna spend too much time on it because the contractors all typically have this. For my buyer's agents and listing agents, you know, when you have a drug, people took off, you know, their homes on the market due to COVID-19, but whatever properties are, are out there, if they're vacant, you know, and you can get into them, you can do anything, open up the floor plan, you know, if they're in the right school district, but they don't like the layout, you know, you can create additional floor plan, you can do addition, garage, landscaping. So maybe with your buyers, if you're having a tough time, think about this program and how it can help them maybe get a property and make it their own, you know, update it the way they want to update it. Um, you know, we often laugh. I had a buyer, he goes, I kept looking at updated homes, but I would have never picked those finishes. So he decided to use a renovation and pick 
the finishes he liked because if he was paying that kind of money, he wanted to make it his own. And, you know, I agreed with that. And we can do 